we'll open up with Kelly and then uh, take questions from there. That was, that, was big <laughs> that was my official statement. That was it. Okay, any questions? <laughs> Uh, actually, I was really proud of our team tonight. I, I thought we played a heck of a basketball game. I thought defensively we were terrific, and especially in the second half. Had a couple of lulls early, but um, I thought overall it was a really good game. We shared the ball well, we took care of it, rebounded well. Just I think all in all it was a good tune-up. You know, these, these kids know we, we leave bright and early in the morning to go play uh, an undefeated 8-0 Clemson team. And, Mississippi, two really good teams on the road. So but they stayed focused and uh, really, really good. Are you surprised at all how Rudy's committed to such a great so early? Well, not surprised because we knew she was really talented, but um, yeah, she's, she's come along just a little bit maybe quicker than we thought. You know, um, wasn't used to a ton of competition up there, you know, her size anyway. And uh, this was a big jump, so we didn't know. She's just been terrific. I mean, most of it is she's just got a great nose for the ball. I mean, she knows how to rebound and attacks it. And it's just so athletic. And the part that has surprised me the most is her ability to finish. You know, she's just doing a great job of finishing around the rim. So, yeah, she's fun to watch. But she had a double double, I think, in the first, first half, definitely, but pretty early. How much has she helped from that way of Virginia? No doubt, no doubt, and she's eight games into her college career, which is you know, phenomenal. She's got so much growth potential, but yeah, she's definitely, you know, getting those maybe not quite Jill numbers yet. But if she was playing Jill minutes, it'd probably be about the same. We don't need her to play 35 minutes a game. With just a handful of games before conference play starts, you know, at the end of the month, what do you want to see out of this team in, in those games more than just defensive a defensive effort like that? Continued. You know, uh, again, no, no drop off. We, we sub, and there's very little drop off until maybe late in the game when you know just things get a little sloppy. But that's what's most impressive. That's why I, I, I'm really excited about what's going to happen. I think our ability to maybe not have some down games is better than most because we've got a lot of players. Maybe have a couple that have off nights. Well, it doesn't matter. We have able players that are almost as good, if not just as good, coming in off the bench. And, um, so we got to continue to defend like that, uh, continue to rebound. I thought we were a little, you know, gave up a few too many. Um, but yeah, four games to prepare, and we can count them down every single day in practice we're talking about. It. So they know that there's limited time. Sure Coach, I think I read a stat that Oregon hasn't been ranked in the top 25 since 03. Is that is that right? That's been a long time. You guys are right on the verge. Is that something that you're telling your players about, or and you think you should you should be ranked? Uh, the honest truth is, I couldn't tell you where we were right now. I mean, I don't really look at that stuff. That's nice, but it doesn't really mean anything, you know. And uh, not now anyway. So I know we're getting votes, and I know we're on people's radars, but we just got to keep doing this. And all that takes care of itself. It's out of our control, you know, to some degree. You mentioned Ruthie being only eight games into her career. Where, where have you maybe seen her grow just from game one to, to now? Confidence. I mean, she, you know, just notice how aggressive she is. She gets it anywhere around the basket. It's one power dribble, and she's going up and through people. She's getting to the line a lot. You know, that's someone who's playing with a lot of confidence. And, uh, and she now just continues to work on her skill level. and. Uh, Consistency and conditioning, you know, um, boy, the sky's the limit. You're looking at a you know, real special player there. Yeah, I keep saying at some point we'll tighten things up, we'll tighten things up. It just hasn't worked that way yet. And uh, everybody has a different skill set, so they're able to, to, to come in. So, but yes, it's going to be a long trip. I think we, uh, we leave the school tomorrow at 3.30 a.m or whatever AM flight to Denver, Denver to Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C. to Greenville, and then a drive into Clemson. Clemson is a ways out of there. So it's going to be a long day tomorrow. They're going to be tired. And, uh, and so it's nice that everybody kind of got a rest tonight. And it's twice. What interactions have you had with Coach Taggart so far, and, and what do you think of him? Just saw his press conference yesterday live. Love the enthusiasm. I like some of his sayings. 
I like his work, work ethic. It's great to see where he's out recruiting already. And uh, he's a one-person show. That can't be that easy when you're recruiting. You have eight or nine or ten assistants normally, right? Whatever they have. But I think he's going to do a great job. We're behind 100%. And, uh, you know, we, we, we love Coach Mark, and we're pulling for him as well. But now there's new leadership. And so our team, we put a nice little tweet. It's like been my most tweeted or retweeted uh, tweet ever. It was our little team video wishing him the best yesterday. So. Yeah. When he wins, we win. You know, when any other program wins, we win. Because we're all in it together. When you do have a chance to talk with Willie Taggart, is there any advice you want to give him about what it's like to be a head coach here at Oregon? Uh, uh, I think he probably already realizes he's very blessed. This is a great place. Uh, it's a great place to be a coach. You're so supportive. And, um, and I'll tell you what, if I'm ever feeling low, I'm calling him up or I'm going up in his office and he'll get me re-energized and pump back up. He seems like he's that kind of guy. Uh, it did not to me look fake. It looks like genuinely that's how he lives his life. And, uh, and I think that's great. And that's going to pay a big dividends here. I anticipate that that's a program that's going to kick some butt in the future. Can I say that? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Given how much travel you guys already did for uh, you know, the Spain and Hawaii, you feel like um, well, it's never a breeze, especially when you're 6'5", 250, and you don't get that exit row or the first class upgrade. I doubt I get one, too. Um, no, travel's never fun. It's never easy, but I think this is good for our team. And I, you know, they've, we've traveled well. They've had great attitudes. We've played pretty well on the road, and uh, hopefully we can continue that on this trip. This is, a, this is I think, a, a good momentum builder for us if we go on the road and, uh, and win against an ACC and an SEC team. Okay, the second yeah. quarter is where you guys made your charge. Did something flipped or in that timeout in between quarters, or just what did you see that maybe changed that keep you guys control? In, in the second quarter, you yeah, said? Yeah. yeah, I thought we defended. After, again, after the first quarter, you guys, we gave up 23 points in that game. So, yeah, the defense was, was terrific. Again, a great third quarter. Uh, plus 16 in the third quarter has kind of been our MO. Um, but, yeah, and I think just our ability also to play so many players, I think just wears teams down. We can keep them rolling in. They don't have to play a ton of minutes. So they're all fresh, and they're all competing still for plenty of time. So they're going to play their butts off. And we did that all the way to the end. But, uh, but yeah, I think you're right. Second quarter, a nice little run there. Do you like to stay away from like wholesale changes when you're bringing people in? Do you like to you know, keep a couple players in the game? Oh, uh, so you know, yeah, personally, it's nice to have a couple on there that kind of stay with it. Yeah, there's a little uh, continuity. Uh, yeah. But once in a while, yeah, it's okay. Well, I wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, we'll see you back in a week or so. Week or so, right? I don't know. We got a game Monday. That's the only one I know.